Hey everybody, Richard Pie Guy here. Today we're going to talk about how we can get our hands on a Raspberry Pi 4 single board computer here in 2022 at the height of the chip shortage. So we've talked a lot about chip shortages recently. It's affecting industries across the board here, electronics, computers. The car industry is massively affected by these to the point where you usually can't get a brand new car right off the lot anymore. You have to go on a waiting list. You have to wait for your turn to actually have the opportunity to purchase a brand new car because of these chip shortages. So it has affected industries across the world, but it has definitely affected the Raspberry Pis, the entire product line. So what it's doing there is it's actually because Raspberry Pi Foundation, which is the company that actually makes these products, they're unable to get all the parts needed to produce these at a rate that meets the requirements for the demand on them right now. So what that's done is it's actually caused the prices to skyrocket on Raspberry Pis and especially the Raspberry Pi 4. So let's take the Raspberry Pi 4, 4 gigabyte RAM version. There's a two gigabyte RAM version of four and an eight. The four is dead center in terms of the price point. So a year ago, when everything was just you know going according to plan, there weren't all these shortages, or at least they weren't experiencing the effects of the shortages yet. They were selling for $55. The two gigabyte RAM version was selling for a little bit less. Eight gigabyte RAM version was selling for a little bit more. So let's fast forward to right now. We're in April, 2022. They're super hard to come by. That four gigabyte RAM version, which was selling for a year ago, $55, is now selling for north of $200 massive difference in price same exact product just the price has just skyrocketed so a lot of people are passing up on getting these right now which i totally understand because again a year ago they were selling for a fraction of what they're selling for now but for those of us that really want one one way that we can go ahead getting them at a cheaper price is getting them used luckily the raspberry pi foundation manufactures these really well they hold up extremely well. Of course, you do have to be weary of people that you're buying them from. You wanna make sure that they take care of them. They didn't bash it against the wall or anything like that. But you can check those externally because for the most part, you're gonna get a computer board that has everything exposed and readily available. So you wanna check for broken pins. The pins can be super frail. If you know people are rough with them or they're trying to attach things incorrectly, they can easily bend and break. So just check the pins, make sure nothing's missing there, nothing's bent or damaged. Check your ports, make sure that your USB ports are good, make sure that your micro HDMI ports are good because people can sometimes wrestle with those and they can get bent or broken, stuff like that happens. Just make sure that you don't have any of that going on when you receive yours, if you do buy it online. Make sure there's no cracks to the board, stuff like that. Usually you're gonna realize there's an issue as soon as you plug it in and it either works or it doesn't work. But majority of the time, you're gonna be in good hands buying these used. I have not, I've bought a bunch of them used myself over the years. I've never once had an issue myself. So I buy more than the average person does for sure. But buying them used is definitely a great option. Now, buying them used is going to save you some money. You're not gonna get them for $55. Those days are gone for the time being. So. You're definitely not gonna get them cheaper than $55. You won't even get them at $55. The value's just gone up. So the price point that I'm seeing on a lot of used Raspberry Pi 4s, and we'll use that four gigabyte RAM version as an example, because that's gonna give you the average price point here because it is that middle of the line price point for the Raspberry Pi 4 product line. So where I'm seeing a lot of these selling for used is still north of 100 bucks, but like $110, $115, I've seen as much as 150, but it really, I think, just depends on the um, condition that they're in. If they look like they're brand new, but they're you know obviously open box and all of that, then they're gonna sell for a little bit more than something that looks like it's been kicked around for a couple of years and you know maybe isn't damaged, but you know might be dusty, maybe um, you know not as bright in color, just showing that it has aged a little bit. So that's you know reasons why the the price may fluctuate there for a used Raspberry Pi 4. Now, there's a couple tips that I have for getting them even cheaper than that price point that I just mentioned, and that's looking for products that use Raspberry Pi 4s within them. These are products that people aren't searching for. So if you go on eBay or Mercari or any of these secondary websites out there where you can buy secondhand items, you're typically gonna be typing in Raspberry Pi 4, and then maybe you'll enter in the gigabyte version that you're looking for. That's how people are gonna search for these. So you wanna think outside the box and think about what would somebody be 
selling something as that maybe doesn't know that there's Raspberry Pi 4 inside or just isn't highlighting that portion of it. And one of the things that I thought of about a week ago and I actually purchased one on eBay and I purchased it for $88, which is an insane price and it had the Raspberry Pi 4, four gigabyte RAM version inside. That's the Pi Boy DMG. For those of us that aren't familiar with this, this is a handheld video game console, uses a Raspberry Pi 4 inside of it and it looks just like an old school Game Boy. It's pretty big, but it is a handheld game console. So you do have to be on the lookout because some of them actually have a Raspberry Pi 3 inside, which isn't gonna help you if you're looking for a four. You can tell the difference though externally by taking a look at the ports that are available on the top. The three differs from the four, so just look up the difference there. You'll be able to tell just by looking at a photo. But the Pi Boy DMG that I picked up was not functioning correctly. There was a connection issue to it, which was all detailed in the description of the listing. But he specifically had mentioned that the computer board was not the issue. It was a connection issue because he had been under the hood of it, you know, trying to fix things and just wasn't getting anywhere. So I knew that the computer board wasn't the issue. I knew that the Pi Boy DMG's connection and wiring was problematic. I wasn't gonna use it as a Pi Boy DMG anyways. My plan was just to disassemble it and take the Pi out of it. So I ended up doing that, it cost me 88 bucks. So that's a huge steal for, this was literally, I think a week and a half ago, two weeks ago maybe since I bought it and then you know I received it a few days later than that. So this is current. So you can find these at better price points, you just have to think outside the box. Now there's other products out there that use Raspberry Pi 4s inside. If you look up what those products are, I'm not familiar with all of them myself. I'm familiar with gaming. That's what I do on here. So I knew about the Pi Boy DMG. So now another way to actually go in and look for Raspberry Pi 4 products is you wanna look for something that may not look like what the average person is looking for. So right here, I have a Raspberry Pi 4, four gigabyte RAM, but it's inside a cooling fan case. So if I saw a listing like this, I would know that there's probably a Raspberry Pi 4 inside of here, but somebody that may not be using these in this way might look at this and just scroll right past it. So something like this is likely gonna sell a lot less than something that looks like this right here, just because it's not what people are associating with the Raspberry Pi for single board computer. It's not what they're expecting to see on a listing. So they're gonna scroll past something like this a lot more frequently than they're gonna scroll past something like this right here. So that's another way to look for stuff. This also looks like, you know, is probably been used more so than something that looks like this right here with the exposed board and all of that, nothing, no casing or anything like that. So you wanna look for stuff like that that just doesn't look like what the average person is searching for. So again, you're not gonna be paying $55 for this or this, but this usually is gonna go for a lot less. And a lot of times on eBay, it actually comes with more. You have a cooling fan case here, which is worth a certain amount. Usually they're inexpensive, but still 10, 15, $20. It's got the fan in there. It's got the, um, um, what else does it have in here? This one actually has a micro SD card in it. So that's got even more value there. It's got a 512 gigabyte SD card sitting in here. Um, but you know, you might get a lot more bang for your buck picking up something like this. Um, a lot of times it comes with the cables or the power supply as well. So definitely don't shy away from something like this just because maybe you can't see the actual board in there. You're gonna have that buyer protection plan built into whatever platform you end up buying it on. So you know if you can't see that there's a board in here, I can just pop the top and see the board sitting in here. It's got the, um, you know, the thermal tape on there and everything too. So you can obviously uh, tell that it is the same board. It just looks very different to you know, the average person looking at it. So now if after all of that, you're still unable to get Raspberry Pi 4, I have one last tip for you guys, and that's you can pick up one of these. This right here is a Raspberry Pi 400. It looks very different. It's all in key keyboard form here, but you can see it's a computer in the back. It's all built in here. You have the same ports up here. Actually, you have one less USB port than you do on this version right here. Right there is four, here is three, but you can put an adapter on here or a USB splitter and get as many USB ports as you want if you really need a lot of them. Um, the performance here is comparable. This does not have a cooling fan in it, but it's manufactured in a way where there's actually cooling in here. So you can get good airflow in here. You can see there's good ventilation and these don't heat up terribly. So they do get, you know, they will get a little bit warm if you're using it for a long period of time, 
but it's not going to affect the performance. I've tested them out. I use that mainly for Raspberry Pi operating system. I do some stuff on there and I use it mainly that way because of course it's got the keyboard here, but you can game on here. You can attach controllers. You can use Bluetooth controllers. You can set that aside. It doesn't make for the most attractive console if you're gaming on it. This is, you know, the smaller, more compact version, obviously. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, performance is comparable 100%. These Raspberry Pi 400s sell for about 100 bucks if you're just getting them, you know, like this. And they'll come with the cables, I think. But uh, about 100 bucks or so. And they are much easier to find currently than the regular Raspberry Pi 4s. So that's a solid option. If you don't care so much about what it looks like, then I would definitely go with Raspberry Pi 4. You're gonna save yourself a lot of money and you're not going to sacrifice any performance at all. But that's gonna do it for today. Just wanted to share these tips that I have for you guys on how to get a Raspberry Pi 4 because so many people have been hitting me up in comments on past videos talking about how frustrating it is to try and find one of these computer boards right now and how expensive it is as well. So hopefully this was a help to you guys. If it was, smash the like button for me. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you want to stay in the loop for all future videos here on the Richard Pie Guy YouTube channel. But that's going to do it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching.